Today we're going to cover how to repair a Prince tie rod cylinder. As you can see we have a complete cylinder here and a disassembled cylinder here. First thing you would do would be to remove the four tie rods and or bolts that hold the cylinder together. Simply set those off to the side once that's complete. You can then take a small mallet and gently tap the gland and the basin piece and remove them from the cylinder body itself. Once that's complete, you can take the rod and remove the complete assembly from the cylinder, which this is what you will end up with. The clevis, the rod, the gland, the piston, and the lock nut. From there you can remove the lock nut, which holds the piston onto the rod. and remove the piston. You will notice that there is a small o-ring behind the piston that will need replaced also, which this is the o-ring. You can simply remove the gland from the piston now. With this completed, you can remove the old packing and start with your new. As for the piston, this series requires a single seal, which is a crown seal, and simply fits into the groove of the piston. As for the base end piece, it requires an O-ring and a backup. The backup goes on first, followed by the O-ring, and simply fits into the groove. The gland and or head piece requires the same type of packing which is the o-ring and backup. Backup is installed first followed by the o-ring once again in the same type of groove. The gland also is where you will find the rod wipers. One on the outside and one on the inside which can be seen here. Be sure you remember how you remove the old ones because there is a correct way that these are installed. Once this is complete, you can start assembling your cylinder. The gland can go back onto the rod, followed by the piston, which is secured with the lock nut. As for the torque specs for the lock nut, they can be found in our parts manual on our website, which is www.princehide.com. Once that's complete, you can attach the basin piece back to the body of the cylinder and insert the rod assembly back into the cylinder, followed by the four tie rods. As for the torque on the tie rods, they also can be found on our website in the parts book.